Hi guys, this is Kiran. This is seventh part of the Screwjack series. We'll be doing the last part, that is the Tommy bar. Okay, here is the Tommy bar. You can see it. Let us start doing it. So let me start by clicking on solid part. I'll select sketch on the front plane. So again, it's the same procedure. We'll be doing this using the revolved protrusion option and we'll be drawing half of the profile selecting the axis as the base. So I'll start now. Okay, so make sure the axis, the base is on the axis. So now this is our basic profile. The last uh, the curve at the end we'll do that later mm, so now we'll start dimensioning it so this is 275 from end to end so let me start by doing that this should be 275 and then I'll make it symmetric you can just use smart dimensioning or you can use symmetry option I'll use smart dimensioning from this end to the axis should be 275 by 2 so it's 137.5 now it's symmetric so the next dimension is the diameter is 20 so I'll make it 20 by 2 that is 10 and then the smaller one the diameter is 12 mm so let me make that 12 mm 12 by 2 so that should be 6 mm and from end to this start of the taper should be 62 mm so this one should be 62 mm and as I mentioned the taper angle is 45 degrees so uh, let me add that also the taper angle I'll use the angle between command and I'll use from this end to this end okay if that is 45 this should be 135 so the from vertical to this is 45 so from the horizontal it will be 135 so I think everything has been done the knurling knurling part uh, just ignore it uh, I have not figured out a way to do it in the solid edge so just leave it as it is so other than that everything else has been done the end the curvature at the end must be done they have not specified any dimensions there so we'll just put it as we wish so I'll just put a circle on this axis now what I'll do is I'll select the connect option then I'll select this point and the circle now make sure the circle is on this axis the center of the circle now uh, use dimensioning uh, it is now 37.88 I'll just round it off to 38 any anything else is fine you can you can even give it 40 let me make it 40 okay so I just made that and now I'll trim off the excess parts oh sorry I need to add a line here okay I'll, you can just draw a line from here till there okay now let me trim out the remaining parts I'll trim this then I'll even have to trim this part so it should look something like this so our Tommy bar is ready so I'll return to the original sketch revolve protrusion select the sketch select the axis and then go for 360 degrees finish so our Tommy bar is ready so you can see you have the curvature here now let me hide the sketch sorry hide so one more thing what we are not done is there is a small chamfer here the chamfer should be 1 mm into 1 mm into 45 degrees so I'll select the uh, in this round option I'll click this drop down menu I'll select the chamfer then set back I can do click as 1 mm and then let me select this edge and then click on this and finish so we have got the 1mm chamfer there 
now the tommy bar is ready so let me save this this is part 7 Okay guys, thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.